Hello crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Wendy, glued with love. And I have some Black Friday uh, items that I wanted to share with you before I put them away. Um, so it's a little crafty haul. Um, this might be a long video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna talk a lot or not, but um, we'll see what happens. Um, the stamp market also had a release. It was not a Black Friday deal, so I'll start with that. They just had a lot of cute dies that I wanted to pick up um, for this month's release to have in my stash. And so um, if you ordered $100 or more, you got a free stamp. This was their freebie, Handmade with Love and Special Care. Uh, this also was their freebie because I don't remember ordering this. Um, that looks like just some foiling die cuts. Uh, I did pick up the... Um, mega mail stamp and um it has a lot of cute sentiments i love anything that has to do with like happy mail merry mail boo mail all kinds of mail so we've got santa special delivery um certified naughty or nice uh, mail post birthday wishes gift card stuff so really neat uh sentiments to have in my uh, stash and I did pick up the dies. I normally do not pick up dies, but these looked really intricate and I really didn't want to be fussy cutting them. So um, I'll give it a try, see how it works. I know I need to get some repositional tape because my washi tape, when I do set down a die over a stamped image, it tends to lift my paper. So I got to definitely pick up some repositional tape. I picked up the Mega Mail. Um, this is like a flat mail mailbox, really cute. Um, so if you're not familiar with what these dies look look like, the stamp market has a lot of inspiration on their website. This shows how they actually created um, various cards um, and sentiments and embellishment with this. And they used um, a various sentiments from this stamp collection on their mailbox. So super cute. Had to pick that up. Um, I did order the oven mitt. Um, I don't have an oven mitt in my collection, although I know I can make this on my Cricut, uh, but I did want to have a die to go with this. And it looks like it has some little uh, embossing images on there. Uh, so I added that to my collection. There was this big bow, super cute. Uh, they did have a small mixer. I thought this was going to be larger. I was kind of disappointed that it's not as large, but I think I was just so used to my Crafter's Companion one that I picked up off of eBay not too long ago. Um, but it's cute. It's still cute. It's, you know, it's small enough for a cute little small tag. Um, so yeah, so it's the, um, I, I think they, it says bold alphabet, but that's incorrect. I think they probably ran out of, out of papers to back it up with and, but yeah, this is the uh, the new sewing, uh, new sewing, the new mixer. And I did pick up the uh, stamp set that went with the mixer called Sweet Thing. And it says secret ingredient is love, a little something sweet. Hello, sweet thing. Nothing is better than you. Hello, sweets. Looks like it has like a couple of cookies. And again, I picked up the die set that goes with the sweet things sentiments again I normally do not pick up the dies that go with the stamp sets but I wanted to give this a try but I'm also thinking about um, getting a brother scanning cut so that way when I do have stamped images I can just use that to cut stuff out um, so we'll see how that goes I'll come back on here and let you know um, what I make and how I feel about the stamps with the the dies they just seem so small and so intricate that maybe i you know that it's just easier for me to use a punch to cut it out or fussy cut it we'll see we'll see how that works um these are the dies and the stamps that i picked up from elizabeth craft designs again these were like two dollars three dollars i picked up the polar bear uh the pig which i already have in my stash so i have another one i think it was only like two bucks i picked up the mermaid because i wanted to make um when i have um disney swaps this makes a perfect little mer little mermaid i didn't have the little witch so i picked up the uh witch die and i did pick up this slimline uh spider web die and here are the two stamps I had my eyes on that were on sale. It's the Crafting uh, Craft Studio number two. 
and it has creativity, 100% enthusiasm, serving size, one creative person, amount per serving, one great idea, inspiration, 100%, plenty of time, 0%, that is true, too many ideas, 500%, um, Percentage of daily value may vary by individual. Other ingredients might include paper, glitter, hot glue, fabrics, dedication, and incredible skills. I just thought this was super cute to send to a crafty friend. Uh, it says, I like crafting and maybe three people. Craftaholic, um, a person who is very fond of crafting. Then it has just like different places for journaling. A little vintage girl cutting, uh, sitting at a desk cutting... <laughs> paper and a barcode that says crafting so yeah i thought that was neat and then this is a sewing theme stamped a stamp that again i want look at this stamp i read i really want to at some point uh create a, a really vintage looking album so i thought these elements um could be used in that journal that I'm thinking about making. So pick that up, put that in my stash while it was on sale for the Black Friday. Um, Margarita's bag had a Black Friday sale and she had a lot of her um, patches, Disney patches. Here's her information, margaritasbag.com. These were like $2, $3, $3, and I think this was $4. So all of these were like two bucks and I love, love her stamps. I mean, her patches. And I did have to pick up the, obviously the the um, Mickey and Minnie ginger patches to put on my pouches. And I picked up one for my daughter cause she loves zero. So yeah, this was a really good sell because her patches are normally $10. So Black Friday, she had a really good sell. So definitely pick those, I picked those up at a really great price really great quality stamps. Oops, sorry. Um, what else do I have here? I did pick up on sale um, Jill's favorite stamp set. These were also on sale for, I want to say it was Black Friday or during a live that Jill Norwood had. Uh, these are from Peachy King, but Jill Norwood posted like, um, and let us know that they were on sale and that there was a code to you. So uh, I picked up those during that sale. Then I picked up uh, from scrapbook.com for Black Friday had purchased, I think $20, you get three items free. So I really wanted this bow die. So I picked up the bow die. I picked up the, um, these, are, these are from scrapbook.com, the Elizabeth Craft stamp set and dies. And the three items that were free were the magic mat. I want to try this out. I haven't tried it. And since it was free, I figured why not? Uh, so yeah, it was free with this purchase. So I purchased these three items and I got this free, the pink fresh alpha, uh, Juliet alpha was free with that purchase and something else was free. Oh yes, the this was also the free, free the clear double sided adhesive rolls, which I needed this really thin strip, so I thought that was neat. It's one eighth of a of an inch, and then Scrappy Boy also had a Black Friday sale, and it was thirty five percent off. So all of their dies and stamps were like eight or nine dollars off. So. I picked up the overalls, super cute. I picked up the Heroes of the Universe stamp because my son loves Marvel. And so Captain America, Iron Man, I love you 3000. Um, thank you for swinging by. Uh, so yeah, I have a start feeling I missed your birthday. Super cute, so yeah, I like this. And I had had my eye on this since I saw Scrappy Boy at the expo last year. And I was going to pick this up, but I didn't. But since it was on a really great sale for Black Friday, I went ahead and picked up the Dia de los Muertos Skull stamp. Super cute. And picked up the boombox. 
die. I have a, a few ideas for that. And I picked up the hiking boot. And this was a gift from Pixie Dust Design for my retreat. So that's in there. Um, and the only thing I picked up from Scrap Diva was the, uh, I think this is the edge flower. Yeah, the edge flower, which I really love this flower. And I didn't have this in my stash. And this is her bag maker. So this is going to go with a lot of my dyes that I already have from Scrap Diva. So definitely a must uh, to go with various dyes that I have. And that's what I got, guys. That is my Black Friday haul. And let me know if you have any questions or you need any links or any information to any of these um, small businesses. I will be happy to provide those. And I will catch you on the next crafty video. Talk to you later. Bye.